But being famous really sucks, man. Like it's so unhuman. Like I can't remember his name, but there was this classical pianist that said it's actually unnat unnatural and actually detrimental to a, a human to have that much admiration because it actually changes the way you think. It changes the way you move. Andre turned down every invitation to celebrate. You didn't feel the urge or desire to. Nah, no, I didn't. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't necessarily like looking back. And I wouldn't want to be in a place where I'm doing it on some, just because I'm trying to meet an expectation. Like, right. It was so big at the time, bro. Like, they probably turned down a hundred million dollars just on shows. You know what I mean? At that time when that record came out, it was just like you got to realize he put the record out. We in, we in LA. They win six Grammys, and he went dark. <laughs> Cause everybody wanted him then, and he was just like, "Oh no, nah. no." Nah. If you were to ask anyone in the hip hop scene about Andre Benjamin, also known as Outkast's Andre 3000, you'd likely hear them discussing his status as one of the greatest rappers ever. From Travis Scott to Future and Childish Gambino, his influence and the respect he commands are widely recognized. With his clever lyrics and versatile rapping styles, Andre stands out as a figure revered by many in the industry. Andre 3000 is revered as the quintessential rapper's rapper, often cited as the favorite rapper of many within the industry. This sentiment was exemplified when Kendrick Lamar, widely regarded as one of the current masters of lyricism, sought Andre's seal of approval before the release of Good Kid Mad City. He's one of the first person I played down for. What does that mean to you, actually? I mean, you know, like, you know, music. Yeah, um, it means everything, man. Just off the fact, you know, I've been a fan since day one. Renowned as one of the all-time greats, Andre's remarkable collaboration with Big Boy across Outkast's six studio albums is nearly unparalleled. However, despite his undeniable talent, Andre has expressed no interest in making a comeback to the rap scene, even after releasing new music. These days, Andre is more likely to be found at an open mic with a flute in hand than booking a studio session. When he does venture into the studio, he carries none of the airs and graces typically associated with a superstar of his caliber. As for what led Andre to step away from the rap industry, it seems to be a personal choice influenced by various factors, perhaps including a desire for artistic freedom, exploration of other creative avenues, or simply a shift in priorities. It's like, I ain't got no raps like that. Like it's, it's, it actually feels, sometimes it feels inauthentic for me to rap because I, I don't have anything to talk about in that way. Like Andre 3000's resistance to conform to industry expectations has indeed made him a target for trolling and ridicule. However, for him, it's a deliberate decision. In a 2020 conversation with the legendary producer Rick Rubin, Andre admitted that his confidence in making rap music has waned and he no longer feels compelled to undertake a serious project in the genre. I haven't been making much music, man. My, my focus is not there. My confidence is not there. Um, I tinker. I tinker a lot. Mm -hmm. um, like I'll just go to a piano and I'll sit my iPhone down and just record what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. move my fingers around and whatever happens. But I hadn't been motivated to do a serious project. Although Andre recently made a comeback with the release of his debut solo album, New Blue Sun, it's not the comeback fans were expecting. The album predominantly features experimental flute music, incorporating a mix of acoustic and electronic instruments. Drawing inspiration from spiritual jazz artists and minimalist composers, it's a departure from his rap roots. In essence, New Blue Sun defies expectations by presenting a musical journey that transcends genre boundaries. Indeed, Andre's decision to turn away from rap doesn't necessarily stem from a dissatisfaction with the genre itself, but rather from the overwhelming fame that accompanies it. According to Andre, the decision is more about navigating the challenges of fame rather than any inherent issues with rap music. But being famous really sucks, man. Like, it's so unhuman like i can't remember his name but there was this classical pianist that said it's actually unnat unnatural and actually detrimental to a, a human to have that much admiration because it actually changes the way you think it changes the way you move you know like i'm coming to grips with it i think because i'm older now like i really see it as i'm just being used for something you know what i mean and i can just i'm happy that i'm being 
use in a greater scheme. Like I kind of have looked at my whole career and looked at where I am now. And I kind of feel like I'm a catalyst kind of artist where I'll do a thing that I naturally do and then, you know, people see it and then the reaction of that spawns other things to happen, you know what I mean? So I'm always watching, well, how am I, how am I being used? Like, you know, yeah. what's happening? Yeah. Like, what's, what's going on right now, you know? And you can't be mad at that. For Andre, the accolades from fellow artists hold little weight if he doesn't feel the same sense of fulfillment internally. His journey with the art form that brought him acclaim has taken unexpected twists. In 2018, he disclosed to GQ that music was no longer offering the solace and satisfaction it once did, leaving him in search of something to fill the void. Andre said the problem with being successful is you can do whatever you do times 10 and no one to stop you. You can easily go down the wrong path and you get into that place. And the thing that brings you out is other people. Since Outkast disbanded, Andre has ventured into various interests, including a failed high-end fashion debut with Benjamin Bixby and a canceled cartoon project, Class of 3000. Despite facing setbacks, he values the creative process and the lessons learned from these experiences. He refuses to let failures define him, instead embracing the beauty of creating on his own terms. What distinguishes Andre is his emphasis on the significance of the work itself, rather than on acclaim or commercial success. He refuses to compromise his vision, as evidenced by his decision to decline conforming to the clean album concept for Kanye West's Donda. This commitment to artistic integrity sets him apart in an industry often driven by external pressures and expectations. Andre's desire to step away from the spotlight was indeed profound. Reports suggest that Outkast turned down substantial offers of money following their decision to stop touring consistently in the mid 2000s. This further underscores Andre's prioritization of personal fulfillment and artistic integrity over financial gain and fame. For instance, Outkast turned down the offer to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show in 2015. Big Boy explained at the time that creative differences with Dr. Dre led them to pull out of the negotiations. We were supposed to perform at the Super Bowl, Big Boy said. We had two songs, The Way You Move and Hey Ya, and Dre didn't want to split the songs up. He didn't want to cut the songs. He wanted to do both songs. They were like, y'all can't do it. Outkast did reunite for a 20th anniversary tour in 2014, performing at 40 festivals worldwide. However, in an interview with The Fader that same year, Andre confessed that he had some reservations about going on tour. This suggests that while the reunion happened, Andre still grappled with the challenges and pressures of performing and being in the spotlight. I didn't want to do the tour. We hadn't performed in 10 years. It was old songs. I'm like, how am I going to present these songs? I don't have nothing new to say. There's another aspect to Andre's aversion to fame, which reportedly stems from the negative attention he received regarding his personal life. While Andre shares a son named Seven Serious Benjamin with Erica Badu, it's not Badu who sparked the negative attention. Rather, it's Andre's relationships and rumored marriage with hip hop journalist April Bomai that drew scrutiny. Bomai recently faced backlash for racially insensitive remarks towards black women on social media, adding to the complexities surrounding Andre's personal life and his relationship with fame. In January of last year, one social media user went viral after revealing that she had been receiving vile messages for nearly a year from an unknown number, and it allegedly started after she shared a photo of Andre on her IG. Someone texted this user a photo of Andre's rumored partner April and wrote, this is the face of a real queen. This is the face of the woman who has the king of rap by her side as you dusty jealous hating African females envy the life of Mrs. April Benjamin. And then another man said the same thing happened to him when he posted Andre 3000 on his Instagram. He allegedly received an email saying, watch your BS April, is a queen stop posting. Husband Andre will never be gay and he will never be your man, nor any of you city scoundrels jealous because of our culture and her being Asian pathetic. Without concrete evidence, it's not fair to make assumptions about who might be behind the offensive messages. Jumping to conclusions about Andre's wife without evidence could be harmful and unjust. It's essential to approach such situations with caution and consider all possibilities before reaching conclusions. It's understandable that fans might speculate about who is behind the offensive messages, especially given the public scrutiny surrounding Andre's personal life. However, it's crucial to remember that speculation without evidence can be harmful and unfair to all parties involved. 
Indeed, the intense scrutiny and invasion of privacy that celebrities often face can be overwhelming. Andre's desire for a quiet life away from the spotlight may very well be influenced by such experiences. It serves as a reminder of the importance of respecting celebrities' boundaries and allowing them to maintain a level of privacy in their personal lives. Andre's approach to his art and life sets him apart in the hip-hop world. Regardless of any controversies or personal struggles, his artistic integrity remains unquestionable. He stands as one of the greatest of all time, able to reflect proudly on his body of work across various mediums. Andre's unwavering commitment to maintaining his integrity, even in the face of fame and fortune, is truly commendable and sets a powerful example for artists everywhere. In the EAs of many fans, Andre 3000 stands out as a truly unique figure in the hip-hop world. Some admirers see him as someone who embodies a high vibrational energy, running his own race and staying true to himself despite any criticisms or judgments from others. They believe that Andre's ability to remain focused on his own path, regardless of external opinions, is a testament to his strength and authenticity. Others feel that Andre has transcended the need for validation or judgment from within the Black community, given his decision to step away from the spotlight and focus on his personal interests and passions. They view him as a rap legend who has left an indelible mark on the industry, yet has also chosen to retreat into a more reclusive lifestyle, free from the pressures of fame and public scrutiny. For these fans, Andre's departure from the mainstream rap scene symbolizes his evolution to a higher plane of existence, where he can continue to pursue his creative endeavors and live life on his own terms. In their eyes, Andre remains an enigmatic and revered figure, untouched by the opinions of those who may not understand or appreciate his journey. But let me hear your thoughts on Andre 3000 and his decision to stop making rap music. Drop your comments down below.